loss feature. You know, right when you're writing your log, there's a little checkbox. Hey, I want to give it a favorite point. So it makes that easy to do. Um, and that's about it for the geocaching API. I'm going to talk, see what time it is. I'm going to talk about 10 minutes on GSAC macros. And what macros are, are essentially plugins. You can think of them, you know, your browser, web browser, if you know, has plugins that let it do different things, new features that uh, the browser people didn't build in, but through the plugin, somebody else can provide that feature. Um, there's a macro programming language provided by GSAC, and there's people who write these. They're probably not something you're gonna write, but you can make use of them. You can get a complete list of the macros that are out there, about 500 or more. Now, if you go to gsac.net for macro index, uh, PHP. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. To install a macro, it comes down as what's with the extension GSK from the internet. So you, you would click on the GSK file that would download, and then you open it with GSAC, like by double clicking on it, and it'll pop up a little dialog, and you just say install the macro. And then and once you have it installed to run it in GSAC, you go under the macros menu and say run manage. So I'm going to demo that quick. <coughs> so if you go under macro run manage, Here is the list. There's actually a link here too if we go to online macro index. That's why I came in here. This takes you to that same page that I had the link for of all the, the, the cache or GSAC macros. Um, let's say we want to do this one. It's The description is it lets you put a cache page on your Garmin CX HCX, CS, X, GPSR. This is, this is using the point of interest of actually people I know use this macro. So if you want to install it, you click on this. It'll take you, here's the GSK file we talked about. You click on it, it'll download. You could save it and then double click or just hit open. And here's the window that GSAC shows, and you just pick install the macro and hit go. So now when we go to the run macro screen, we, we see it here. There's, there's the one we downloaded. So now to run a macro, let me just pick one of these. This one is called Google Map V3. We just select it and then hit run. This, was, this is actually a macro that somebody during the break asked me about. So what this macro does is it lets you map out with Google Maps the caches that are in your, uh, that are currently in the grid view in, G in GSAC. So we had 100 caches that we downloaded and it made a nice little map of these caches that are, that are in here. And it, it's a clickable map. You can click on these little pins to, to get uh, more information. There's links and uh, favorite points and so forth. Okay. Once, you down, once you look at uh, Google, if you have on your uh, laptop or something, you can bring it out on the road with you. You don't have to be hooked up to Wi-Fi or anything. And, and hit that macro to bring it, and it'll bring up the Google map with the points on there without the website. Correct. It, it looks a lot like the website Google Maps, right? Yep. But it, again, it's using all information. It's downloading the Google Maps from the internet. And it's, as we talked about, GSAC has all the cache information in its database. So it can draw that map when you don't have a connection. Yep. It's also a lot faster in most cases than the, the Google Maps uh, on geocaching.com. So. 
and it lets you see, like if you apply the filter, you know, that you only want to do these certain caches, it lets you see, you know, what caches you're actually going to download to your GPS from GSAM. This is just a list of some popular macros. Again, um, most, many of the macros are for things like calculating statistics, uh, seeing if you complete the challenge cache is a, is a popular type of macro, and also for mapping. Um, there's also macros that, that download this extra cache information of certain types of GPSs. Uh, one of those would be shown on here, it's at the bottom. It lets you, if you have a newbie, download and or create a point of interest file to load the full cache information into a newbie. Yeah, similar to like in an Oregon, you have the full cache information. Yes, Carrie. Any newbie or any newer type of newbie? Yeah, other than really old. How old is it? Fourteen fifty. That'll work. That'll yeah. work. No problem. Fine. Load that. Cool. Yeah. I could tell you a macro. To Yeah. This should cool. give you the this should give you the full cache data. I can show you because I think it'll be the same as So that's one type of macro. I'll just hit on these other ones. This find stat gen three, it's used by a lot of people. Once you have your finds into GSAC, you can run this macro and it will make all kinds of pretty graphs and maps of where you've been and calendars of what days you hit the caches. Uh, that you can upload to the internet or just for your own personal viewing. Yes, Gary. What about the old map from, uh, it's not about the numbers, but it shows the counties and how many counties. That, this map county down here, there's a map county macro that will draw a map of whatever state you want and fill in the counties that you found it from, you know, how many you found in each county base. Yeah, but that's the Lauren, though. that's pages. Correct, but this map county, there's also a map to oh, okay. but this macro will make a map for you that will show graphically these are the counties I hit and how many I hit in each one. Cool. So that's what that one is. Uh, this challenge by height, it's, yeah, we heard a lot about challenge caches uh, in the first session, and some of the challenges, like the DeLorme challenge, the county challenge, there's ones that you have to find a cache in each 50 states. Um, grids, you know, find ones on certain grid points. Um, this macro handles almost all of them. It'll tell you, you know, if you run this macro on your finds, it'll tell you you found a cache in 60 counties and you need this many more DeLorme pages. So that's, that's a good one for that. And you saw the Google Maps V3 shows the caches on a Google map. And that's it. This is again a more information slide. Uh, both of these presentations I think will be on the internet, so you'll be able to download them. And now we're going to the question part. We already, whoa, we got a lot of hands. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm <coughs> not aware of a macro for the new challenge. Is anybody aware? The question was, is there a macro for the Wisconsin DeLorme challenges? And there's one for the old challenge, but not the new that I know of. So. Yes. Something interesting for those that like hiding cash is you can download a macro Google circle. And then you can make a circle one-tenth the way so you can see if you can fit in a oh. cash on Google Earth, see if there's a spot to fit in it. Okay. Nope. Park, that's cool. that's, yeah, I gotta repeat this. Sorry. Do uh, you know what the name of that macro is? Uh, no, I don't know. Let's see. It's, uh, Google okay. Earth Circles. There's a macro called Google Earth Circles that will uh, basically plot out circles of the 500 foot radius around each cache, right? Yep. And you have that you have. That's idea. right. That are in GSAC, and and that'll show you pockets where you could hide another cache. That's Yes. Sorry, you might have, you might have said this, but you did. I missed it. Um, I I'm on this list of the macros on the GSAC thing. How do I get those into my GSAC? Okay, you got to install them, and so you click on the first. You would click on the name of the macro to download it. 
So we'll go back to that. In this list, if you click on one of these names, it'll usually take you to like a forum post or something that has it. And that'll have, there'll be a GSK file. So here's a GSK file that's attached to this post. So you just click on that to download it. And then you say open with GSAC, and then it will give you the option to install it. So then once it's installed, it essentially copies it uh, to a spot that GSAC knows about it, and then you can run it from this run macro dialog. Do you have a question? No? Oh, a comment. We like to accept your comments too. Okay. Because I have just recently begun hiding caches. Um, <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I'm, living, I, I'm living to play, by the way, the uh, hider of the new PAG series. Um, and if you are really close, like near, within a tenth of a mile, you know, or just over a tenth of a mile, very close to that, to that limit from from near caches, be really. Be really careful that you are like 0.11 or 0.12 from the next cache because WizKid is really fussy. It, it may depend on the reviewer you get that day. That's thing. right. So, 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 so I, I have already been doing That's that. something you said can't help I you with. I've been removing caches a few times. Right, but when you look at the circle, Once you create it initially. Once you create it? Yeah. Created, exactly. Yeah. Okay, hey, you have to you have to do it. Okay. Got it. You have to have a connection. Then it will download the maps from Google Earth. Yeah. There, if you have something like um, the Garmin program used to be called Map Source okay. on your computer. Uh, there's a macro for that, you know, to export it to yeah. map source. Okay. So that way you can do it completely without an internet connection ever. Right. So, yes? What was that title of that map that you had up there with the name of it? it it's called Google Map V3. That's how it appears in that list. Google Map V3. Thank you. Yep. Another question. Okay. When we started all this, we downloaded our stuff in here and we filtered it. Yeah. How do you unfilter it? Uh, good question, because that, <laughs> that, can, that can be confusing. Under the filter, or sorry, under search, there's something called cancel filter. Search menu, cancel filter. Uh, yes, there's a, when you have a filter apply, but the, the this won't let me do it because I don't have it. This big red X here is cancel filter. Well, they're all pretty terrible. Well, delete. <laughs> yeah. 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 And the only really way you can tell the filter on is down here in the corner in red it says subset. You know, it's not showing everything. That's the only way you know. And then you can hit the big red X and they all come back. Uh, yes, person. Uh, you may have went through this too already, but uh, I still got all the stuff that came with. How do you delete stuff out of this? Yeah, that, that's in the handout, but I didn't go through it because we happen to have an empty database. So here we don't have an empty database. We got 100 caches. If you want to get rid of that stuff, under database menu, delete all waypoints. And then it will ask you to say yes or no, and you can delete them all. Um, typically, that's what you do. If you're going to download a pocket, so you just start out fresh, delete everything you have. So.